Now you probably know that Great Western is a rail network linking London with Wales and South West England. But did you know its creator, Eisenbahn Kingdom Brunel, originally wanted it to stop at New York? Mm. Mm. I didn't. He, <laughs> well, now, now he, you know. well, he, had, he certainly you know. had great vision, that's for Let sure. Let that sink in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to that end, he also built the ship, the SS Great Western, which took passengers from Bristol, obviously, across the Atlantic. Mm. And now there is a plan to build a full-sized replica of the paddle steam if £20 million can be raised to pay for it. Scott Ellis has the details. All that remains of Brunel's Great Western is the ship's bell. The transatlantic paddle steamer in which it hung just one of his many engineering masterpieces. He famously built the Great Western Railway and at one of the meetings with the directors, somebody made a, a rather shallow remark about why build such a long railway? And he said, it's not long at all. Why not carry on and go all the way to New York? And so to do that, he had to build a steamship to connect to the railway and he came up with this. The PS Great Western was built at the M Shed in Bristol Docks and when it launched in 1837 it was the largest transatlantic paddle steamer in the world. She made 45 crossings in eight years and led Brunel to greater engineering heights with the construction of the more superior SS Great Britain in 1843. The plan is to rebuild the Great Western here in the Albion Dockyard in Bristol currently underused and a shadow of its former self. Shipbuilding has been carried on within a few yards of this spot, close to the heart of Bristol, for nearly 300 years. The Albion docks now used for ship repairs, which will continue with the Great Western replica behind, on view to the public. And from the starboard side, as you approach, you'll be ready to sail, steam up, on her way to New York with passengers and, and crew and so forth. But as you walk around the stern, the sudden reveal on this side, on the port side, will be her as a giant cutaway ship model. So you can see right inside to see how it works and what goes where and how that kind of world of a, a ship at sea would be like. The expansion of this famous site will cost £20 million. The National Lottery Heritage Fund has got the ball rolling with a £600,000 grant. It's going to happen. <laughs> It's going to double the size of the site. Um, it is going to, we're going to have a living dockyard around both of the ships and really bring that to life. And it's going to mean that we're able to do an awful lot more than we can with just our current site, which is more constrained in its footprint. If the money is successfully raised, we can all admire the cutaway life-size replica of the Great Western in 2027. Scott Ellis, BBC News. It's a lot of money, but I always admire the positivity when people say, it's going to happen, mm. it'll happen. It's the only way to it's be. Good. Mm.